life, in all its diversity, depends on a delicate balance. This is as true for the animal kingdom as it is for the rise and fall of civilizations. And few substances so simple yet so crucial have shaped our human story as profoundly as salt. Yes, salt. That seemingly humble condiment on your table has fueled empires, sparked revolutions, and woven itself into the very fabric of our existence. From the dawn of humanity, we've craved salt, not just for its flavor, though it does make food undeniably tastier. No, salt is essential. Our bodies need it, crave it, depend upon it for basic functions. This biological imperative transforms salt from a simple mineral into a sought-after resource, a driver of trade, a symbol of power. Across time and continents, the quest for salt has shaped our world. It dictated where cities were built, how armies marched, and who held the reins of power. The very word salary whispers of this legacy, a reminder that Roman soldiers were once paid in this precious commodity. So, let us embark on a journey, a global exploration of how this unassuming mineral, this vital spark, shaped the destiny of humankind. Across the Mediterranean, the Romans recognized salt's strategic importance. Their legions, those disciplined conquerors, marched on their stomachs, and salt kept those stomachs content and their spirits high. Roman generals understood the power of salt. To control the salt supply was to control the empire's fate. They built roads, those enduring arteries of their empire, specifically to transport salt. Roman Empire Historian these salt roads, or facilitated trade and projected Roman might across the land. The Via Salaria stretching from Rome to the Adriatic Sea stands as a testament to salt's pivotal role in shaping the ancient world. It was a lifeline of commerce, a strategic marvel, and a symbol of Roman dominance. The Roman Empire may have crumbled, but salt's influence endured. From the salt mines of Poland to the salt pans of China, civilizations rose and fell with the ebb and flow of this precious commodity. Imagine, if you will, a world without cars, trains, or planes. A world where the movement of goods relied on the strength of human backs and the sure-footedness of pack animals. This was the reality for much of human history, and salt, being bulky and essential, posed a logistical challenge. Yet where there's a need, there's a way, and humanity, ever resourceful, carved out a solution, the salt roads. These ancient highways, often little more than well-trodden paths, crisscrossed continents, connecting salt sources to hungry markets. Trade and economy specialist. The Silk Road, that famed network of trade routes, carried more than just luxurious fabrics and exotic spices. Salt, too, flowed along its veins, a testament to its enduring value. Across the Sahara Desert, camel caravans laden with salt braved scorching sands and treacherous dunes. These ships of the desert, as they were known, transported salt from the mines of Taghaza to the markets of Timbuktu, their rhythmic tread a testament to the enduring human spirit and the pursuit of this vital mineral. The salt roads were more than just trade routes. They were conduits of culture, spreading ideas, languages, and technologies along with their precious cargo. These pathways of salt, etched into the very landscape, stand as a testament to the interconnectedness of human civilization. In a world without standardized coinage, salt, with its inherent value and portability, emerged as a form of currency. Think about it, salt is durable, divisible, and most importantly, universally desired. These qualities made it an ideal medium of exchange in societies where coins were scarce or non-existent. Trade and Economy Specialist In ancient Ethiopia, salt blocks known as served as currency. These carefully measured blocks, stamped with the emperor's seal, facilitated trade and reinforced the ruler's authority. Across the Atlantic in pre-Columbian Mesoamerica, the Aztec Empire thrived on a bustling salt trade. Salt, harvested from the saline waters of Lake Texcoco, was a source of wealth and a symbol of status. Even today, in remote corners of the world, salt continues to serve as a form of currency, a tangible reminder of its enduring value. The next time you sprinkle salt on your food, Pause for a moment and consider the weight of its history, its journey from mine to table, from currency to condiment. Salt, with its ability to preserve and purify, transcended the realm of the material and entered the sacred space of religion and superstition. Across cultures and faiths, salt has been woven into rituals, beliefs and spiritual practices. In Hinduism, salt is associated with purity and is often used in purification ceremonies. 
offerings of salt are made to deities, and it's believed to ward off evil spirits. In Christianity, salt symbolizes covenant and durability. Remember the biblical phrase, salt of the earth? It speaks to the importance of preserving faith and righteousness. Salt was also used in baptism ceremonies, symbolizing purification and spiritual rebirth. From the Dead Sea Scrolls to the Catholic Church's use of holy water, which often contains salt, this mineral has left its mark on religious practices for millennia. Salt, it seems, holds a power that transcends the physical, connecting us to the spiritual realm and reminding us of the enduring human search for meaning and connection. He's the salt of the earth, we say, admiring someone's honesty and integrity. The phrase speaks volumes about how deeply salt is ingrained in our collective consciousness. Yet, for all its positive connotations, salt has also been at the heart of social inequalities and struggles for power. Control over salt production and distribution often translated into political and economic dominance. Those who controlled the salt held the keys to wealth, influence, and in some cases, life itself. Throughout history, salt has been taxed, monopolized, and fought over, its abundance or scarcity shaping the destinies of nations. The salt mines of Wielicka in Poland, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, stand as a testament to both the ingenuity and the exploitation associated with salt production. For centuries, miners toiled in dangerous conditions, extracting the precious mineral that fueled the Polish economy and filled the coffers of kings. Salt, it seems, has a way of revealing both the best and worst of humanity, our capacity for innovation and our tendency towards greed and oppression. Extracting salt from the earth or the sea has been a constant human endeavor, a testament to our ingenuity and adaptability. Over millennia, we've developed ingenious methods, each tailored to the unique challenges of the environment. In warm coastal regions, salt production often involved harnessing the power of the sun. Shallow evaporation ponds, like those found in the ancient world and still used today, allowed seawater to evaporate, leaving behind precious salt crystals. In colder climates where solar evaporation wasn't feasible, people turned to mining. Deep shafts were sunk into the earth, and miners, often working in treacherous conditions, extracted rock salt. These subterranean worlds carved out of salt stand as a testament to human resilience and our insatiable thirst for this vital mineral. From the brine wells of ancient China to the modern industrial processes used today, salt extraction has evolved alongside human civilization. The methods may have changed, but the fundamental goal remains the same, to obtain this essential mineral that sustains life and flavors our world. Ah, uh, taxes. That age-old source of grumbling and occasionally revolution. And few taxes in history have been as loathed, as deeply resented, as the gabelle, the salt tax. In 14th century France, the gabelle became a symbol of royal oppression. Imagine, if you will, a world where salt, that essential element, was subject to exorbitant taxes, making it a luxury many couldn't afford. The gabelle fueled resentment, sparked uprisings, and played a role in the French Revolution. People risked their lives smuggling salt, becoming folk heroes in the process. The gabelle, in its own peculiar way, highlights the importance of salt. Governments wouldn't go to such lengths, wouldn't risk such unrest, if salt wasn't absolutely essential a lifeblood of the nation. The gabelle serves as a potent reminder, a cautionary tale, if you will, of the fine line between taxation and tyranny and the enduring human desire for freedom and a fair shake. From the dinner table to the laboratory, salt continues to shape our world in myriad ways. It's no longer the primary form of currency, nor is it likely to spark a revolution, though one never knows. However, its importance remains undeniable. Today, salt plays a vital role in food preservation, ensuring a safe and abundant food supply. It's used in countless industrial processes, from manufacturing paper to de-icing roads. And of course, let's not forget its role in enhancing the flavor of our food. That sprinkle of salt on a perfectly cooked steak, the dash of salt in a batch of freshly baked cookies. These small acts connect us to a long and storied history a reminder that something as simple as salt can bring immeasurable pleasure. So the next time you reach for the salt shaker, take a moment to appreciate this humble mineral. It's a testament to human ingenuity, a reminder of our interconnectedness, and a flavor enhancer extraordinaire. 
From the ancient salt roads to the modern laboratory, salt continues to shape our world, a testament to its enduring legacy.